Art. A. R. T. Who gets to decide what art is? If I got to, I would say that the photo in my living room was not art, although many art scholars would probably disagree with me. I always thought it looked more like the inside of a mouth. I thought art should be something prettier. So I made clay pumpkins and suns, and while I thought those were art, scholars, and maybe even my art teacher, would say they weren't, or at least not good art. But what is good art? How do you know if someone's good at art? Can you test them? I grew up believing that I was never good at art. I was never an artist. While my clay pumpkins may have looked more like basketballs, I made the best toothpick bridge in my fifth grade class, and my planet made out of styrofoam got me an A in science. No one ever told me that art doesn't have to stay in the art classroom. After all, life is a multimedia event, and the meanings that we secure from life are not simply contained in the text or classroom. That's the beauty of art. You get to take it everywhere. Is art limiting? Or is it liberating? My planets and bridges were my own form of art expression. I just never knew it. Art is too personal to be able to say that one piece is art and another isn't. For Christmas, I stepped my made a collage for my dad, and while the colors flowed, the words stuck out, and even the texture was exceptional, she was adamant that it was not art. It was a collage. I thought, and still think, that it is art. Everyone decides what art is to them. Art is so multidimensional. For some people, it may be the photo in my living room. But for me, it's about finding creative ways to express myself. Just this year, I drew the cover to my portfolio for environmental education. I made up a skit and dance that I performed in Hinduism to illustrate the god Shiva. Can art be standardized? Conventional art curriculum frequently reduces art to dry facts and elements, or skills necessary to meet state curriculum standards. Isn't art all about going outside of the boundaries and being creative? Art is not a multiple choice test. It goes beyond filling in bubbles.